As summertime approaches, it's important to talk about sun protection, but recent studies aren't necessarily encouraging people to lather it on. The research finds that certain chemicals in some sunscreens can enter the bloodstream very quickly after application. News 18's Isabella Caruso talked with a skin expert about what this means. Good morning, Isabella. Yeah, some people may be very confused about this. You may be thinking, well, what should I do? Should I use the sunscreen and possibly risk those harmful chemicals getting into my body, or should I not use the sunscreen and possibly risk getting sun damage or even skin cancer? We well, don't have to decide because not all sunscreens are the same. I talked with an expert dermatologist at IU Health in Lafayette who says to always look at the ingredients in your sunscreen. She recommends using ones that have zinc oxide as the only active ingredient. She says that chemical is non-toxic and can even help after being out in the sun. Some sunscreens she recommends are Aveeno Baby and Neutrogena Dry Touch. And sunscreen isn't the only option. In fact, it never was the only option. Wearing protective clothing rather than tank top shorts and flip flops is sure to help protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. People tell me that there was no such thing as sunblock before, you know, when they were children. Uh, but I point out that there was such a thing as clothing even when Moses was a kid. The chemicals found in sunscreens that entered the bloodstream in increased levels included oxybenzone, avobenzone, and octocrylene. Now, Dr. Tamsin Rosenwasser says there's still a lot of unknowns about these chemicals. You can head to our website, WLFI.com, and read a little bit more about her tips on how to keep your skin safe this summer. Reporting live in Lafayette, Isabella Crusoe for News 18. Thank you, Isabella.